Hey Cancer and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your bi-weekly love reading for the end of February 2019. These messages won't resonate with everybody so please uh, use your best judgment, take what fits, leave what don't, and enjoy your reading. All right. That card just fell out when I was shuffling and I put it back because I hadn't called for it yet. So it was meant to come out. The Magician. Oh. So you guys are really um, using what using what you know, using your life, your lessons that you've learned um, along the way to uh, create a new reality. The King of Swords. So there could be an air sign who is out of their element, um, standing in your way of that, trying to keep you from um, moving forward, moving on. Let's, I will get some clarifiers for these as well. Where did that go? I know there was one that flipped. Maybe we'll see it here. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Well, your foundation. Oh, there it is. The King of Cups. Wow. So you really have come from a relationship cancer that was just all over the place. Somebody who is over emotional, um, way out of their element, uh, highs and lows. One day they wanted one thing, one day they wanted another. Um, whew. In the past, you guys um, really tried hard to create um, create a relationship, create a life with this person. This is somebody that you could have children with Whoa, as well. Um, let's see what else we got here in the present moment. What are we dealing with for cancer? The lovers. So, you guys have a choice. Way too many. Oh my goodness. Cancer, do you guys have options up the yin yang? Wow, wow, wow. I'm going to get all your cards out here, guys, and clarify because with this many court cards, and uh, I mean, you have all court cards or major arcana. I don't know if you can see this, <laughs> but this is crazy. Three court cards and three major arcanas. Okay. You know what? I didn't call for those, so I'm going to put them back. Let's see what's here in your environment. And your hopes and fears, cancers, hopes and fears. Thank you. The six of swords and the outcome. Be hanged, man. Wow, guys, look at all these court cards. All these major arcana, big changes for you guys coming up. Oh, boy, your bottom of the deck. Seven of swords, what's going on, cancer? High Priestess, and the Queen of Cups. Holy shit. Bottom of your deck, the Fool in Reverse. Oh my goodness. Then the Strength card. And then the Star card. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I just got to take a breather for a second because this energy is very, very, very all over the place. So I'm going to pull my clarifying deck. I'm going to use the Illuminati just because these cards give me about the most detailed. This deck gives me some details that other decks don't. So 
Let me just get my energy in real fast. Cancer, you have major, major changes coming up in your life. Um, starting in the next two weeks, but I am seeing going all the way for the next three months uh, for the majority of you. All right. So, in your energy, you are the magician. You have manifested all these people into your life. Okay. I'm going to stop there and look at that bottom of the deck where I stopped shuffling the magician again. Okay, Cancer. You or somebody in your space is not being honest. They are not um, telling the whole truth. They are being deceitful. They are being sly. They are being sneaky. And you or the person you're dealing with knows this. Um, I feel it's you, Cancer, because we have the Queen of Cups here. Um, you know what's going on. Um, I just don't think you're saying anything just yet. You're kind of taking a back seat, um, and kind of letting this play out in front of you. Uh, this also on the flip side of it, cancer, the high priestess is secrets as well. So you are the one, uh, that has the secrets, um, and is kind of on the sneaky sneak side. Um, so it can go either way, um, and I do see it going both ways because I'm reading for the collective, but let's see what we can get here from our reading. So with the magician, you've manifested um, a lot of people in your life, Cancer, um, and you have the tools to, okay, I'm just going to say this right now. One of these people is your, your divine partner. Um, and you're very confused right now. You're not sure. Um, but, oh my God, look at that bottom of the deck, seven of swords and I flip justice cancer. What is going on? Okay. So you're manifesting a new reality. You're trying to balance out the, the karmic scales. You're trying to do things the right way. Um, you are, uh, for the majority of you going through a legal separation, a split up, a divorce. That was stemmed from uh, sneaky behavior, from deceitful uh, actions. Uh, I do feel that you are leaving an air sign. If not an air sign, they have air sign qualities. Uh, because this person was very cold. Very, They acted solely out of their head space and not out of their heart space. And it left you uh, feeling very drained, very sad, um, very empty. You needed more. You needed more to... Oops, why did I just put that back? You needed more to, uh, you needed more to life than this relationship that you came out of or are currently coming out of. I do feel that this is a legal separation or you've been with somebody for a very long time and you're just separating your assets. Uh, with this King of Swords, it's being clarified by the tower. So uh, this was an emotional uh, shake up for the both of you, really. Um, it, this person really, they really did mean a lot to you, um, in the past, but you just, you, you were emotionally drained. You were back and forth and wasn't sure what it was that, um, you were unsure of this person's intentions is what I'm, what I was trying to say. Also, you had somebody come into your space here and um, kind of uh, get your attention, causing you to want to leave um, this situation. Now, this could be you or the person you're dealing with. So if this wasn't you, it's the other person. But somebody came into your life when uh, this relationship was not going so good. You were already emotionally drained. You were already um, ready to leave this person. And you didn't mean for it to turn into this, but it did. You didn't mean to cheat. You didn't, like, it's not like you were out looking to hold around. It was just, it kind of happened. And now you're doing what you to do in the right way to clear this content and end this relationship with this person. In your past, you have the empress. So uh, you are trying to create the life truly you want. 
that I that you deserve. You are a great bird. You are a great uh, uh, bird producer as well. Can you just say what you want was for your um thing there? You want me to be what I need you 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 to be court cards that are coming out, court cards and major arcana still clarifying. That's all you have out here. Major, major life changes, Cancer. This is, this is freaking amazing. I don't think I've ever had this many court cards and major arcana clarified by court cards and major arcana ever. <clears throat> okay. Now, on to the lovers. In your guys' present, you most definitely have a decision. Do I choose the person that I'm with or the person that I want to go towards? Who do I want to pick? Who do I want to um, continue to build this life with? Whether you start over new or with somebody else. You are, wow. You are getting two eights. Eight is a number of action. It's time to move now. Continue to work hard on manifesting with that magician and open up communication. You are communicating to the person that you are wanting to be with. Um, you are communicating with them that you want to uh, move forward to start working on building a life together. This too, just FYI, this is like calling uh, like a booty call, but it's it means more than a booty call. Like you truly love this person, but it's like a phone call like, hey, Let's get together. <laughs> Just putting that out there. All right. In your future, you have the king of wands. Awesome energy. This person is passionate. This person loves you. This person would do anything for you. They would go to battle for you. Um, no questions asked. And that's why this person really stirred up your feelings in the first place. Um, this person, oops, I didn't call for that. This person is like ride or die for you, Cancer. All right, why is the King of Rods here for Cancer in the future? Can we say uh, Sagittarius? This is your destiny. This person was meant to come into your life when they did. This person was meant to cause this mass awakening for you. This person was meant to come in and get you out of this stuck relationship, this stuck feeling, and they were sent here from the divine. This is a divine relationship. I said that in the beginning. This person right here, this King of Rods, whether it be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, which heavy Sagittarius too with Major Arcana on top of it with um, the wheel. But um, this person was sent to wake you up, to bring you out of that fog, to show you that there's more to life than this. There is a whole new world out there that is meant for the two of you to conquer. And this person's come in um, to, to lead or to uh, help lead you into the life that you desire, that you're meant to be in. All right. In your current energy, you have the nine of swords. You're very confused. You are stressed out about this decision. You have had sleepless nights. You feel bound to this person, this king of swords person. Um, you're scared to move forward to leave person. So you're just judging energies between the two. Uh, and sure. life together while going through matches in your life, which is definitely going on for cancer. But um, no need to lose any sleep over this. It's time just to untie yourself and to let yourself go from this relationship that you felt at one point in time was very emotionally satisfying. But right now, you can't focus on your true divine partner, your true soulmate, because um, you haven't dealt with these two of cups that are drained. You have to um, 
end one relationship, no matter which one you feel you need to go, follow your inner guide, but you need to release one of them so you can focus just on one and this will turn in the upright. Um, and it's being clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. So when you choose just one, when you choose the person that you're meant to be with, the universe is here giving you this gift of a new beginning, giving you this gift of abundance and giving you the soulmate. But you have to not juggle these energies anymore and focus on one. And that's when you will get this gift from the universe. In your hopes and fears, um, you're just taking a step back and hoping this will work itself out. But um, unfortunately, you're going to have to cut yourself down from that tree after you've been enlightened and um, deal with this relationship um, because you're going to have to cut yourself free from this uh, current relationship that you're tied and bound to. But the positive is this is here in the reverse. So you are going to be able to break the chains and uh, seek justice and get out of that relationship that you're currently in and go into the direction that you are now enlightened in going to. Your outcome is the Six of Swords. You are moving away from this energy, this tower, this devil. Um, you are moving away from that and moving into smoother waters. You have to allow your inner guide to lead that boat. That's who's steering this boat. Um, you're just in it. So listen to your inner voice and allow it to guide you in the direction you're meant to go to because you're heading towards a twin flame soulmate relationship. You're headed towards stability. Remember up here when you were trying to create stability, you're trying to create a life for your family that was stable and it wasn't working. That's because that you were with the person you weren't meant to be with. This is, if you listen to your inner guide, you will be able to move into this stable commitment, this uh, soulmate twin flame relationship. You are being enlightened in this time of the hanged man of how to break free and untie that bond to this person that you have a marriage with or a long-term commitment with. Let's clarify the bottom of your deck. So the seven of swords is being clarified by the nine of wands. You felt like you had to sneak around because you didn't know how to get out of this battle. You didn't know how to get out of this relationship, but that is coming to an end. You are going to follow your inner guide. You are going to follow your intuition. The inner voice is going to lead that boat right into happiness and as long as you let your intuition guide you. Oh my goodness. And look at this. The high priestess. You are so, your intuition is so on point. Go for it. Listen to your voice. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> look at this. I mean, amazing. Listen to your inner guide. These are all cards of being connected to source. Listen to them. It is going to lead you to this twin flame. It is going to lead you because he's here. He's here. He was sent here for you. You are destined to have this relationship. He was sent here from the divine because he is your divine partner. So move towards this person. For those of you who this is resonating with, there's no need to stress over it anymore. Um, allow this to pass and to move forward. I am so excited for you, Cancer people, that this is resonating with because this is amazing. This is a freaking amazing relationship. Okay. Goddess guidance. Let's see what we have for Cancer. What is their guidance for the next two weeks? Oh my God. I am so excited that I have goosebumps for you cancer people. Okay. Bottom of your deck, prosperity. The universe is pouring abundance out to you. Be open to receiving. Be open to this because you, oh my goodness, there is so many court cards and so many major arcana in here. I just cannot believe it. You are, the gift is here. Your blessings are here. You just have to be open to receive it. The card that came up for you. Look at that. Don't back down your first card out. Stand up for what you believe is right. If you believe in this relationship that um, is coming in for you, this King of Rods relationship, don't back down. Go for justice. You will win. You will come out on top. Because like I said, unfortunately, I do feel this person is playing a lot of mind games with you. 
I feel this person could possibly have some mental illness. This person is just all over the map and it's time to break free from that energy cancer because you have amazing things coming for you. Actually, they're not even coming for you. They're already here. So cancer, congratulations. What an awesome reading. All right, guys, I am going to end you with that. I send you all the best luck and healing, loving light. And I will see you guys next time. God bless.